Isn't that a sight? To see the waves crashing down on the shore, the sun against the sand. I don't know about you, but when I think beach, I think summer. And you know, we're here in Ocean City today, and it might be March right now, but summer is coming soon, and I can't wait for those summer days, warmth and water. And today, we've got to talk to this man here, Captain Butch Arbin of the Ocean City Beach Patrol because, you know, summer might be a few months away, but you guys are already getting prepared for it, right? Absolutely. We started preparing for this summer that's coming 2021 during the summer of 2020. Uh, we can't wait until Memorial Day to just add water and instant beach patrol. We plan and yeah. test and train and prepare all Sunny. winter long. And like I said, we started last August yeah. with our first testing for new rookie lifeguards for this coming season. Yeah, and, and something you were saying is that you guys need some lifeguards for this coming season, right? Absolutely. We employ over 200 personnel on the beach patrol, and unfortunately, some of them get real jobs, and they can't work for us, or they have to do summer school or internships. So we have to replace those, and that's where our testing program and our recruiting program comes in. We've got to continue to backfill those positions that leave. Sure. So maybe somebody's never thought I should be a member of the Beach Patrol before, but maybe they'd be a good member. What makes a good lifeguard? Well, for us, you know, the first thing are the physical skills. One thing that's neat about the Beach Patrol compared to a pool lifeguard, if you want to be a pool lifeguard, you have to take a certification, you have to have a card, you have to prepare it. In our case, if we have a good athlete, they can run and they can swim and they have a great attitude and a team player, we will pay them while we certify them. So a person can come to work for us with no certifications, no experience, just the ability to run and swim, and the rest of the skills they're taught through a paid academy. That's awesome, and you guys actually have some testing coming up, right? That's right, we hold uh, pre-employment uh, physical skills evaluations, and what that does is we people register, or they show up, they can show up and sign in at the time. They, they run first, then they swim, they do some work in the pool, and then we take them out and they do some body carries, they move one of our stands, the things they would do in a day, and if all that is successful, then, then I will offer them an appointment to a Surf Rescue Academy. We have our first one coming up this Sunday, at the YMCA, which is where I met you last year. That's true. <laughs> at our last test, but our first off-site test is this coming Sunday at the YMCA in Salisbury. Registration starts at 9.30. And again, you can just show up for that, right? Absolutely, but if they go online, they can go onto our website. There's a pre-registration form. The benefit of that is then I pre-print all their paperwork. One of the things they have to do is they, they take a wellness check. You know, because of COVID, we've changed the way we test to make it safe, to keep, you know, as much, but we have to make Make sure we're assessing their skills. It would be dangerous for them to be given a job if they don't have the necessary skills. But we're ready to go this Sunday, and then we come back down to Ocean City to Ocean Pines at the end of April. Why is that a great summer job for somebody? Well, there's a couple reasons. One, as an organization, we're very, very professional. People come here, and once they leave and go into other things, they often talk about what they learned in life. Uh, most of those lessons they learned here. So we have a lot of um, people that find their first real job here. They grow up here, and we hold them pretty, you know, to standards, and that's good. They, they like that organization, and so that's the thing. Then also just being here, the teamwork, they're part of a crew, some of their best friends for life, you know, they, their best man in their wedding, their lifetime partner, their wife or their husband, they meet on the beach patrol. And so it's, it's an organization that's, again, it's professional, but the aspect, we have a lot of other activities we do that pull people together. So they just have an entire experience and a summer at the beach. I mean, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And, you know, we're talking summer, but I just want to, you know, you guys are busy all winter kind of preparing for this, right? You've probably not stopped. Absolutely. Um, like I said, we started recruiting last summer. We had, we held three tests last August. We've hired 30 people from the testing last summer that have passed all our tests to be what we call probationary surf rescue technicians. They'll come to training either the week before Memorial Day or the third week of June. We have to um, clean and paint the stands, maintain our equipment, order new vehicles. Whatever we're doing has to happen. And then we begin our meetings, our training, our planning. Um, so Memorial Day Saturday, we get ready to go. You'll be going. 10 oh. o'clock Saturday, Memorial Day Saturday. You'll see stands along this empty beach right now. 
they'll be full of guards. Can't wait. How excited are you for this summer? Uh, again, I'm real excited. Last summer with the COVID, it was a very different summer, but we had an incredibly successful summer. Many of the beach patrols around us had trouble getting staff. We were fully staffed last year. Uh, we put in place some different types of protocols because of COVID-19, but everything worked out well. I, I think we, as an organization, yeah. were an example to other people of how to deal with COVID and still accomplish your mission because ultimately people came to Ocean City. We needed to be there to protect them and we're planning to be there again this summer to protect them and do our mission. Yeah. Captain Butch Arbin, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for getting the word out and thank you so much for what you guys do. You guys are crucial in, in having a good summer. Here. And I can't thank you enough for helping us get the word out because our mission is three part. It's education, prevention, intervention, and the education is our biggest part. And with working with you and WBOC a lot over the years, you've helped us get our educational message out and we appreciate that. It's an important message. We want to help you get it out there. And of course, for everybody who's looking for any information on those tests, on anything to do with the Beach Patrol, you can find that on delmarvalife.com and for now we'll just keep the countdown to summer going back to you guys captain butch arvin is an amazing man to me i the utmost respect for what he does he runs a really tight ship and i want him to know i love him dearly but i think actually he's been here since they dug the hole for the atlantic hadn't he oh, yeah. i'm not sure about that. i'm thinking that's a maybe i don't we'll have to check back with him on the